So now let's see how we can work around with image options inside of Google Sheets. So in order to work around with image options, first of all, I'm going to insert an image right here. So I'm going to go to insert image and I'm going to say image oversell right here. So I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to import this logo of TutuTube right here. And then it is uploading as you can see right there. So once it gets uploaded right here, it gets inserted and let's see, there you go. There is the image that we have right here. So what we can do is we can resize this image according to what we like. So we can resize this by pulling out this handle on the corner, or I can use this to resize it from a particular section as well. Let me just press control Z because I don't want to skew it out. You can see that this is what I can do. So another thing that you can do is you can click on this three dot icon right here, and you can also replace the image. So let's say, for example, I want to replace this. I can click on replace image, and then I can go to browse right here. And let's say I want to replace it with another image right here. Let's say, for example, this one, then I can simply press open and the image gets uploaded right there. And that image that you see right there will, will be replaced out. And there you go. There is the new image that we have right here. So this image is larger, as you can see right here. There's the TTTube logo that we actually replaced it out with. I'm just going to insert out. Let's say I'm going to press Ctrl Z a few times because I want that original image itself. Another thing that you have is you can delete the image altogether by going on to the option and I'm going to press Ctrl Z and there's some other option over here as well. Like for example, if you want to assign a particular script to it, you can assign a script to it as well. You can also go around and then you can reset the size so that it goes back to the original size that it came with. I'm going to press Ctrl Z because I want this size to work with. And over here, you can also add an alternative text. Let's say, for example, if you want someone to read a text, let's say, for example, I'm going to type in TutuTube. And when someone actually goes around and then uh, focuses on this image, they'll be able to see the alternative text. And you can also put the image in a selected uh, cell. So if you don't want this hovering around, but if you want to keep it somewhere like this, the cell is selected, so you can go around over here, put the image in selected cell, and it is right here. And there you go. There is the image right there in the cell. You can cut and paste it anywhere else and so forth as well. And that is how you can work around with the image options inside of Google Sheets. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.